do I begin? Ah, what would people say? I need to end this. I'm tired. These are common expressions of persons feeling helpless, worthless, and hopeless. A Greek philosopher says, people are not disturbed by things that happen, but by the views of those things. Have you encountered life-changing situations and you are bothered? Regardless of age, gender, tribe and status, it is normal to experience challenges. Failures, mistakes and disappointments are part of life's recipe. How one cope with life's ordeal makes or mar an individual and if not properly managed, results in mental illness such as anxiety, depression and substance abuse. The World Health Organization says one out of every four people in the world will have a mental illness, while one in four Nigerians are suffering from one sort of mental illness. That's about 50 million persons. Depression is a mental health disorder, and there are so many issues that predispose a person to the disorder. Depression is a mood disorder that is characterized by sadness that seems to be unshakable and persistent that will last for a while. It's different from just being sad. When there's depression, this sadness engulfs you. It cripples you. It prevents you from enjoying life. It can be very, very distressing. It prevents you from functioning optimally. And if nothing is done about it, the person can go on to die by suicide. According to new publications by the World Health Organization and the International Labour Organization on Mental Health at Work, an estimated 12 billion workdays are lost annually due to depression and anxiety, costing the global economy nearly 1 trillion US dollars. The studies also show that COVID-19 triggered a 25% increase in general anxiety and depression worldwide, exposing how unprepared governments were for its impact on mental health and revealing a chronic global shortage of mental health resources. This type of um, change that we're experiencing now is very, very stressful. Another thing that might, uh, that might account for why the rate of depression is going high is that we have also changed as a society in fundamental ways. We are not as communal as we used to be. Family dynamics have been changed now. Family texture have been changed now. We have a lot of divorce rates. We have a lot of single parenthood. All these things can impact our mental um, uh, development. It can impact the mental development of children so that when they now grow up, they can become more vulnerable to um, to, to developing depression when they encounter stress in life. Although there are no recent statistics in Nigeria, however, data released by the National Bureau of Statistics in 2019 put 80 persons ended their lives between April 2017 and May 2019. Comparatively, depression is three times more common in women than in men. No one is exempted from depression. However, experts say this state of mind is further ignited by genetics, low connectedness, available tools, and impulsiveness. Men can also get depressed. It is not only women. But when men get depressed, it can, it can show in atypical ways. For example, you know, because we live in a society where men believe, it is believed that men don't cry. That's not true. Men can cry because they are human beings too. Sometimes when men are depressed, it can, it can manifest in excessive drinking. It can manifest as even domestic violence. You know, some men, when they are depressed, they, 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 they become irritable, you know. So the men can manifest depression in these subtle ways. But if you are a man and you are experiencing these things, don't be ashamed. You are a human being and you can have depression and there is treatment available. Rather than criminalize suicidal attempts, there must be adequate communal and medical support system for mental ill persons. When an individual um, is seen to have attempted suicide and failed, he should be treated, he should be sent to a, a, a health facility to be seen by a mental health practitioner, not to be seen as a crime. When next you feel helpless, 
hopeless and worthless. Suicide is never the way out or solution. Open up to someone. You can also seek professional support. Mental health is not a taboo. 767-112, what's your emergency?